With over 100 persons expected to participate, the Gay Pride Parade will commence from Parade Ground at Carmichael and Middle Streets and will end at Square of the Revolution. According to Anil Persaud, who is the Homophobia's Education Coordinator at the Society Against Sexual Orientation Discrimination, SASOD, the objective of the parade is to promote awareness. He said there are, however, misguided views on the intention of the parade. Some persons who have their own conceptions of the parade and are assuming it's a march to um, legalize gay marriage or something like that. That is not the case. Uh, the parade is actually just an advocacy movement, something that we're doing with the intent of giving LGBT persons a space to express themselves and to express themselves positively at that. But some members of the religious community have condemned the parade, which has caused SASO to implement stringent security measures at the parade. And so we're guaranteeing people that there will be police there. And also, um, we have a very close relationship with a personal security firm, and we have uh, made all efforts to inform that firm of the parade. And so, in the case of anything extreme happening, we have backup on hand that will intervene immediately. Some of the points raised via letters in the newspapers include the fact that the law criminalizes buggery and that it is against the religious beliefs of many. Persault said that the LGBT coalition joined in the Guyana Pride Festival 2018, fully aware of the consequences. And so we've prepared ourselves for that and we've been handling it quite well. And we strategically um, decide who we are going to address and how we address the different feedback that we get. And we found, quite frankly, that it makes no sense arguing with brick walls. The LGBT coalition is made up of SASOD, the Guyana Rainbow Foundation and TransUnited. Despite the negative feedbacks, Prasad said there has been a reduction in discrimination against the LGBT community compared to previous years. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.